Yeah, hi guys, uh, welcome to Backstage Pass. Um, Tour de France, we're up to stage six. It's a bit of a profile. Looks like it's going to be a sprint day today. Um, we'll see, always got to be on your toes. But yeah, today on the way to the start, um, we've had a lot of guys playing different music. And we had a bit of a competition, so uh, everyone got one song. Um, only Jonesy's iPod, he quite an extensive, eclectic mix. And um, so we jumped on there and voted, and I think, who was the winner, Jonesy? Who got the... I won it with the Peppers. You were the Peppers, Red Hot Chili Peppers, a favourite, had the whole bus singing. So if you've got any, any song you reckon you can get the whole bus singing to, just maybe add it to the bottom of, the, of our YouTube clip here, and we'll uh, play it and see if we can get the boys straight up. Yeah, in the, uh, in the first round, uh, I picked uh, Chris Isaac, did a bad bag thing, and that was actually, that won the round. And then second round was the Divinals, uh, Pleasure and Pain. But, didn't quite get the vote, but hey, it's a start. Yeah, we play it all the time at Jonesy's, sort of like uh, once we've had a, a beer in there, we, we turn on Bush Chook and have a bit of a game. So uh, if I, in this situation, on those songs, um, what would I have picked? I don't know, maybe a bit of um, maybe <laughs> e ELO, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe Living like, thing. yeah, something like that. Yeah. Or Evil Woman. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You know, so you've got to pick something that is random. Yeah. Like no, this one, it's like quite quite left field, but not left field, you know, it's one of my favourite bands. So yeah. I'll sprint to a K to go and see where I am from there. It's about to take it's about sun shining out, Jones. You can't complain about that. So far, just uh, making the most of it. Five down, 16 to go. Obviously, we're nicknamed the Joker, but um, I think um, I'm able to pull a few strings, get in contact with some pretty powerful people, and I'll do my best today to. I heard the, the Danish Prime Minister wants to meet me, obviously. This is the, uh, the Danish Prime Minister, Lars Lurgan. We, uh, we always do a backstage pass with the team, Lars. Yeah. Now you're honoured. Privileged guest. I'm the one who's the honour. Yeah. And we are here to invite him and the rest of Tour de France to Benmark in 20 or 21. Oh, the start the show there. <laughs> Heavy negotiations going yeah. on here, mate. Uh, <laughs> Tried to give her um, five euros. Ça, merci. And a bottle. And what do we get out of it? I thought we were going to get bread and sausage, but I think we'd better go, mate. <laughs> I think we lost that. <laughs> no betting on the football tonight. Yeah. Excuse me. Are you sure you don't work for FIFA? We've got rid of our two bottles, our five euros, and we've got one and a half sausage rolls. Thank you. Got okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, merci. Merci. So merci. merci. Sold the kangaroo badge back. Yeah. Five euro back. <laughs> this is FIFA. <laughs> Messi won as always. She, um, yeah, it's definitely probably one of the scariest feelings I've had in my life doing a um, Tour de France sprints. It's um, hasn't been a success so far, but we'll keep trying. Yeah, actually, things have quietened down quite a bit since the first day. So finally, some tired legs in the peloton. There's a bit more room. Yeah. Elbows. People are getting a bit nicer to each other. Oh, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot less stress in the first two days, so. Nice, um, mate. Yeah. 
but uh, again, no cigar. So it wasn't really a day for us, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep trying. Yeah. Pretty cruisy. Yeah. Bit of hectic in the final, as always, but. How'd you go in the heat? It's alright. Yeah. It's all, all, all apples, mate. It's all alright. Happy <laughs> joy. Alright, that's a wrap, stage six. And uh, look, a very interesting statistic. Uh, that's the first time in 10 years that every single rider has made it through the first six stages of the Tour de, Tour de France without something being eliminated, crashing, or leaving the race. So uh, it's been a very interesting first six stages. And as Matty Heyman said, uh, now the guys are starting to feel tired. Uh, six days of stressful racing. If they feel tired now, they've got uh, a big, big three day block in front of them. So tomorrow's stage, a relatively flat stage, except for the final. We've got a big category one climb in the final, descending all the way to the finish. I really think it's a big battle for the GC guys, so stay tuned.